Yo, what's going on guys? Today video is gonna be a little bit different. That's gonna be no gameplay. Today I wanted to express my 10 units that I want to be on the next rebalance um, patch. Now, with this list, I limited it to the fact that only units that have never been rebalanced before, that means that if a unit has been rebalanced before, like Rackham, I will not have them on this list. I want only new units so that they can have more opportunities to be more viable again. Some of the units are already actually viable, but I just want them to be buffed so they can be even more viable. And because at the end of the day, what I'm looking for with these units is that I want more specialty options. I don't want all these units to be like the same units you know. That's, you know, you see them a lot already. And, um, or you see them on the buff list a lot, like Rackham, uh, what's another unit, DLF, you see a lot, Hellas, like those units like there, I don't want them to be on this list because you see them a lot already. So to say a unit like that already is like, you, you know they're going to get buffed again until, the, until they are viable eventually. Now, I, I'm going to be using GBF Wiki, so keep that in mind. Um, my throat's a little bit hurt, so forgive me. So, but I am using GBF Wiki. It will be in the description. Everybody want to use the Wiki. It's the best Wiki that we have for our English English players. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So keep that in mind. Now, today the first unit we'll be looking at is Anne. You may have noticed I recommended this unit before during my Athena video, and I also talked about her many times. Anne is a very outdated unit in terms of defensive. See the defense unit through and through, but that's all she is. She doesn't have much utility outside of this being a defense unit. Not to mention she has one of the worst mechanics in the game being the spirit system. All spirit units, I do not like them. I do not like the spirit units in the game. So you may see multiple spirit units in this list. I feel like they all need to be changed to be more updated with the current system in the game. They're really outdated units, so. They really need to be kept up with the game. Their values on using their spirits or whatever they be called, depending on the unit, is not enough value for the penalty that some of them get. Even though Anne does not get a penalty, a penalty for using her skills, she does gain nothing out of it. Most of the time, she don't gain much out of it. The only one being valuable is her skill one, which is the armored. When we look at skill three and skill two, she's not really gaining much out of it for the use of that spirit. So for that, I would like her to be changed so that she gains more value or she gains debuffs and offensive value. Cause right now she's purely a defensive unit with no offensive value or utility value. Now, first thing that I would like to be changed is her Ogi. Her Ogi is really lackluster. Just restoring two spirits is not enough. It could either be attacked down to go with the defensive value so she can have a way of debuffing because currently she has no way of debuffing. So it could be attacked down. They could change it so that her armor effect is now on her Ogi. There's many ways they could change it. I don't, I will mention that with these units, I have not thought of the perfect way to make them viable now, but I am going to give a couple of ways that I think they could change it up. Like the one way being the armor it could be on her Ogi and change her anti collusion spell um, to have a attack boost. So if you use um, it with one spirit, you gain an attack boost and a defense boost and the armor would just be on her Ogi. That's perfectly viable. Her skill two can um, defense up. It's okay. Uh, I would either increase the duration, increase the counter hit. That's about it really. I feel like two counters for two turns, not good enough. Increase the duration of it and increase the counter hit. At least have that increase if she has the um, the uh, the spirit used on it. If there's no spirit, don't increase it. But that's how I feel like it should be. And Radiant Calling is completely a bad skill. It doesn't do much at all. I feel like that should at least clear the party and heal the party. If she heals the party and clears the party, then that will give tons of value to using a Radiant Calling. Her, uh, her second passive skill, Adept Sorceress, can also be changed. Right now, it's currently CA damage up. They can also increase it to CA damage cap too, so that she can have, at least have more Ogi damage 
right now she gets the damage but if she already caps her ogi it's not really getting much out of it overall at least with the cap up then you know she gains a high ogi cap that's the first unit we're looking at and the next unit is the unit that you may not hear me complain about much but Kaliostro dark now Kaliostro dark is a great unit offensive wise she had tons of really strong buffs but she sucks at healing and that's her main gimmick is that she's supposed to be a healing unit but she is really bad at the what she's supposed to, she's bad at her job that's about it she's bad at her job <laughs> like she's good at other things but the job she has she's bad at it she's a really bad healer so we need to change her healing so that she can actually heal her Ogi can also be changed. One cut to skill cooldowns. It's not that great. They can add another buff on top of it or heal. So it could be like revitalized. No, well, I guess this is refreshed. So this needs an update to be revitalized. The fact that it's still refreshed in 2018 is too, it's not nearly good enough. So this could be revitalized. And on her Ogi, give her like, oh, recovery cap boosted. There we go. <laughs> give her recovery cap boosted for a couple turns. Give her a better heal on her skill three, a real heal. And um, that's about it, really. They can also remove the charge bar from her skill one. I don't feel that needs to be there. And that's about that's about it. And maybe change her passive to heal the party instead and not be a full heal. Be like a low chance to heal the party upon taking damage. Oh, yeah, upon taking damage. So it'll make it'll give her more defensive value and a heal value to make her a better healing unit. Now, the next unit we're looking at is a unit that you definitely heard me complain about. It's my baby, John. Oh my God, can somebody please fix this unit? When I look at this unit, the light John, I am so depressed, man. Not to mention that her specialty doesn't make sense. What, what is that? What, is, what, what, what are these weapons that she's holding? Now, I do know that in this art, she does not have it. Her blade is right here, but... You know, she had it in her hand. She could swing it out. You know, she could swing it out. But look, she, it's right there, bro. It's right there. Give my girl some love. Damn. <laughs> Can we get some love for my John? Holy crap. Look at her Ogi. When you, I look at her Ogi and then I go look at this 20. Keep in mind, John the Art Dark came out in 2016. Right? Still had a better Ogi than her. Still had a better Ogi than her. This unit came out 20. First of all, this unit is an attack unit and she's selfish. She's supposed to be all about her. Gosh, she looks so good. <laughs> and then we have the one that came out 2018. Oh, another good Ogi. But then we look at the one that got her five star in 2017. And we look at this and we see a 25% attack up to only herself. She don't give no party buffs. What? Can we get some party buffs? Some attack up and defense up. Come on, man. This is John. Give her some love. Put some respect on her name. Now, her skill one, it could be changed a little bit to have better hit rate on her attack down. But other than that, I feel like if they're really going to change her up, it, the best way to change her is to either make it light defense down or to make it stackable defense down. If they're not going to really change that, then it's not really worth changing this too much. Encouragement, they need they need to be encouraged to change the skill. The fact that it's still on a normal attack mod on the same bracket as Rage. So like Rage 3 actually doesn't really work with it or Rage 4. It's too outdated and it needs to be a special buff. The, a lot of units that had the Rage mechanic on their Ogies, I mean on their buffs like Forte, they got it changed to be a different buff. So they could be a special buff or a light attack buff. But keeping it at, as it is now, it doesn't work. It's not good. Her skill three to nothing. And another thing that needs to be changed is it's too selfish. All she gets is 100% TA for two turns on an eight turn cooldown and a strength buff. Like, that's too outdated. First off, it could at least be a party buff. Um, if that means that we don't get this part right here, and it becomes a party buff, 100% TA, that's fine. If the strength buff stays, but the amount of TA goes down, that's also fine. I don't care how they change it, it just needs to be a party buff. It just being only to her, it's not good enough. Another thing being her passive, 
Now, this may conflict with units like Fairy, because Fairy has a passive the same like this, but I feel like her passive should be to the party and no longer just to her. Because it's John, she's supposed to be a leader, and as a leader, she's supposed to support the troops. So, I feel like her skill, her passive skills is the least to boost the party, in my opinion. That's my girl. Hopefully they buff her and the specialty. I think I mentioned that before, but it's to be short. Now the fourth unit we'll be looking at is Juliet. Now Juliet, she's not a bad unit, right? It's just that she has a bad mechanic. <laughs> her Ogi could be changed a little bit for the bonus light damage. That's cool and all, but she's to have a basic Ogi, but she has none. So we get her like, I don't know. um. Hmm. I had a debuff on her Ogi. Maybe like a light. Oh, dark attack now. Something like fun fun. <laughs> that would be a little bit value to her. Don't have to be as strong as fun fun, but give her a dark attack down on her Ogi will be a little bit better. Uh, her for her skill one's actually still really good in current game. We may need to increase the value to 25, maybe 25 each. Uh, other than that, I would just completely remove the whole uh, light defense. Uh, actually, no, I, I probably would have changed her skill one. I think her skill one is still pretty fine, honestly. Just increase the value by a little bit. Not a huge increase, but you know, a little boost would be nice. What I really need to be changed is her skill two and her skill three. Skill three is pretty much a dead skill. It's not good at all and almost never really used. So you can really chain skill three up. I don't feel like it goes really well with her kit. Most of the time you're just gonna overfill anyway and just waste your charge bar and you waste your time hitting that button. So I don't feel like that's to be there. And her skill one, her skill two is way too, it's way too selfish. It should be a party wide buff and you gain all these if you use a spirit shroud. It shouldn't just be only to one unit. It should be to her party. And then I'll make her a lot more viable. Also, another thing I want to be removed is this whole reduction thing. This right here, reduction to her, her attack. If Juliet has no spirit shrouds, remove that. Then other than that, I'm good. Let's remove this completely and I'm happy. Thank you. Those are things I want changed to Juliet, but you know, that's me. Oh, and her specialty should be staff. Give her staff as well. She just, right now she's spear, give her staff. It bothers me that she's not staff. The next unit we'll be looking at is Lady Caterpillar and Vera. My fault, dying here. Now, Lady Caterpillar and Vera, she's not a bad unit either. Is it that she's outdated? Her mainly her Ogi, her Ogi too selfish. The DA down is perfectly fine with me, but the ten percent uplift for three turns to be given to the party. I don't know why it's only given to her. Her skill one needs to be changed a little bit. First of all, it's too many hits. It takes too long. They could also give her the type of debuff, some type of debuff on her skill one. I don't know which type of debuff to give to her though, but they can give her a little bit more of a debuff to her skill one to give her a little bit more viability. Um, refilled at the okay skill. Only thing I will mention is that maybe lower the cooldown to eight, eight to nine. But other than that, I think that's fine. And Aether Beam, uh, this skill is actually pretty pretty fine to me, to be honest. Since it's attack down and the water defense down, it gets really good. Maybe increase the hit rate. And the Fort Mason thing, I think should be completely removed and she gains a boost based on if Catalina's in the party. So all this right here is to be, to be if Catalina's in the party, you gain all this. Because right now it's kind of annoying to really slot her in so it'd be a lot easier to gain all that if Catalina's in the party, cause you know, her main gimmick is Catalina. So. And you know, it's easier to run both of them together. Now we have an idol here. This unit, I've been wanting her to get buffed for so long and it's just like, they just keep dodging her. Her Ogi actually is still pretty valuable in current game, so I wouldn't really change much to her Ogi. I mean, you could add a buff to it, but I feel like 
Her Ogi is actually really good still, so I wouldn't really change much for her. What really needs to be changed is this skill right here. This is still a normal mod. I feel like this should be, if you're using a male allies, you're getting a special unique mod. So it, this would be a unique mod. And if you're using females, you gain the normal mod. So to give a little bit more emphasis, like if you put her in a party, cause it's going to be hard to slot this unit cause she is a harp user and she's a um, potato. It's really hard to slot her. So you need to get her a really big value to boost males. So for, if she's boosting male, this would be unique. And this one, if she's boosting female, she only get a normal mod. Her skill two could be changed, boosted by a little bit to 25. Right now it's 20 and 15. Give males 25, that's it. And her heal can be lowered in cooldown to six. Six turns to six to seven. It's up to you guys. But she only a huge change. And her skill one, increase the skill effects for male allies and skill cap. Skill damage cap. So that's what I would like. So just having her in a party, she boosted males a lot to make worth running this unit. Now, and we have another unit, a spirit unit, Romeo. Romeo, just like Julieta, has the same problem in terms of his Ogi being really lackluster. He doesn't have a real Ogi effect. So they could change that, give him an Ogi effect. I don't know which effect though. They can give him something like fire attack down because he is more of a defensive unit. So giving him a fire attack down would be okay on his Ogi. They can increase his chance of hitting water defense down because right now it's very, very low because of the fact that he did have a chance of hitting it multiple times. But I feel like this should be lowered by a lot so that he hits it more often. Skill two is actually perfectly good skill. Don't need to be changed. Amplified athlete good skill too does not need to be changed. One thing I will mention though is that this right here, the 50% reduced attack if Romeo has no spirit, remove that and then we're good to go. That's about it. I have no problem with them if they change those two things up. Give him better Ogi and make him more viable at hitting the fence down. Now the next unit is a unit that my friend loves a lot. I use, I use her for only one job. Still viable unit, but she really used for one job only. Sophia, literally one job, revive. That's it. I will love Sophia. I will love her to get more abilities. For example, you would tell she's a really not buff unit because she's in the, the realm of the no Ogi effect. This was like pre-2016. Everything like 2016 didn't have Ogi effects, so now it's it's about time that Sophia finally gets an Ogi effect. So it'll be really nice. Um, her skill one can be changed to have an attack boost to it. I think to completely heal an ally, if the HP bar is red, it's still great. The heal itself is really bad, but if it gains an attack boost too, it'd be a lot more viable. Her clear, I mean, it could be changed a little bit, but um, I don't think it needs to be. I think it's okay as it is and her skill three is perfectly fine. Her passive skills need to be, a, she need a better passive skill um, for the party, maybe increase allies defense. So other than that, I think she's okay. Just need to change her skill one up and give her Ogi effect and make this passive more party wide. Oh, and it could change this, her, her specialty, that harp. Another unit, speaking of harp, Adios. Now Adios, he was always around the hype mechanic, but I feel like that's too outdated. Hype is still a good mechanic, don't get me wrong, but I feel like he should have his own unique buff, something like a amp effect. Like he plays music and he amps the team, giving them a special modified buff that cannot be dispelled. So he would gain, so like on his Ogi effect, he gains amp for the party. This boosts their amp, depending on the amp level. I guess like the amp will be boosted to like five levels. And depending on how high the amp is, they gain more damage, more, more and, and damage cap up. So 
I, that's what I feel at least. And then this skill, maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know what this will be, but I feel like he, he should have his own amp based skill and make him based around like an amping system and you've got to build up his amp. Uh, the hostility up is really sharp on this. I'll probably lower the sharp effect. Like it, it's like he gets killed really fast. So that's about it really. Other than that, pretty good. Yeah. They, they will have to also change his passive skills, obviously, because if he were removed the hype, it will have to be game amp. Now this is the newest unit and the last unit, Freezy. <sighs> this, you're probably wondering why I put this new unit in, because he sucks. This can't, the unit sucks, that's how it is, he's bad. I don't know what her purpose is, bro. I guess he's more of a new person unit, but she is not good. So I will, her whole mechanic with the whole dark mutation mode, it's cool and all, but the fact that she just blows up right after it, it's kind of annoying. Um, it would be better if she blows up and she lowers her health to one. Just so she doesn't like the knockout, right? If she lowered her health to one, that'd be much more viable. So you can at least still have the unit. Right now it's kind of a gimmick. So I, I really don't know how to change this unit, but the fact that she kills herself is really annoying. I tried to mess around with her and stuff, but it's just so much of a gimmick with her. So it would be really nice if they did change her up a little bit more. Right now she doesn't do enough, not to mention that the ammunition cannot be recovered, which is really annoying. So they could change the ammunition effect too. Her skill one, like it's her skill one, her best skill, but it's limited to only three. So they could change that up. And just don't kill her after dark mutation. Just drop her health bar to one and give her like a boost. So once she drops out of dark mutation mode, drop her health to one and give her a damage boost and damage cap up. So those are my 10 units. Now leave in the comments your units that you feel that should be buffed up. Keep in mind that this list requires or uh, has units that have never been buffed before. So keep that in mind. So units that have been buffed, do not put them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be doing another Bahamut high level stream at the time of recording this video, which is one and nine. So if you guys want to join me today, is what? One, nine, 19. So Wednesday, right? So if you guys want to join, you can feel free to join me on stream. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.